what is up youtube this is granger with heartfelt fashion it's me guys i shaved off my beard before the summertime gets here so i can be so fresh and so clean guys all right but on today's episode we're going to talk about something that we all have been battling right now and that's insects okay it's going to be a short video we're going to talk about this pro product that i'm using called a celebrate g it takes care of those crane flies that we're seeing flying around everywhere beetles and grubs in your lawn all right so stay tuned I live around the carolinas or south of the carolinas georgia florida anywhere that's getting pretty warm right now you're seeing these flies all around your homes that look like mosquitoes with big wings but they are not mosquitoes they are called crane flies all right now the lifespan of a crane fly is about one year so about one year ago from today the crane fly starts off as a grub in the ground. It eats away at your lawn and the roots of your grass. And around the, uh, about a year later, the actual grub turns into, into a fly. And so it comes out of the ground and it lives about seven to 10 days and then it just dies, all right? Now you would say, well, that's not a problem if the fly dies in about seven to 10 days. But it is a problem because it eats away at your lawn. It eats away at the roots of your grass during the whole year, all right? So you wanna get rid of these grubs in the ground. There's beetles and everything in the ground. There's all types of things, guys, that you have to take care of, okay? Also, guys, it's just really important that you remember while we all love our grass and we love to put down all of these very rich soil amendments, all of that stuff has a lot of micronutrients and different things in it like that that help all the organisms and stuff in your lawn grow. It helps them thrive. But guess what? While all of that is thriving, you are also building up all types of insects and stuff. You're making the ground healthy for a lot of different things. So on one hand, you're doing a lot to help your soil and your grass flourish. On the other hand, it means that you're gonna have to put down some type of insecticide later in the year or during the springtime or fall to actually you know, cut back on how many uh, bugs and things that the organic uh, materials produce, okay? So we're gonna get right into this material, so stay tuned. So guys, don't forget now, always when you're dealing with some type of chemical, always read the labels so you can probably wear the right PPE. Hey guys, here's what I'm talking about. This is a Celebrate G. The G stands for granules. There is also a liquid product called a Celebrin SC. Now, whenever you're using this product, guys, make sure you read the labels on the back and follow the correct application rules, all right? This product is made by Syngenta. And like I said before, guys, they have a liquid product that's called a Celebrin SC. C, which is a little bit better as far as affordability it goes a little bit farther than the granules all right now if you have yourself a backpack sprayer then i suggest that you get the acelerin sc but for me what i'm going to do today because i'm not ready to water it in i'm going to use it on my my granules i'm going to use it on the ground with my regular spreaders all right remember whenever you're using your backpack sprayer wash it out at the end because it is a chemical guys and whenever you're using your your spreader as well your granule spreader wash it out too because you don't want to contaminate anything else that you're using later in the year with these chemicals like i was saying at the beginning guys this is going to be a very short video this is just a video to just help you manage all the insects and things that are going on in your lawn throughout the entire year also guys keep in mind you may see brown spots in your lawn, especially if you have an irrigation system. You may see areas that look like you're having uh, uh, droughts in certain areas. It may not be that you have a drought. It may be that you have worms, you have grubs in the ground that are eating away at the roots of your grass. So keep that in mind, guys, throughout the whole year. So thank you guys for joining us today. 
that was a quick video but we're gonna have more videos throughout the whole year for a total lawn care thank you guys for joining us please like the page subscribe to the page tell your friends and family about what we're doing out here guys we're only doing it because it's something that i love to do which is lawn care personal lawn care so if you like the videos if you like what i'm showing you please guys follow us like us tell everyone about us all right we love you we appreciate you until the next time we'll see you later